Okay, so you've seen the Avengers and they're smashing and hammering and ironing. Oops, wrong iron. And shielding and all other kinds of fun. But believe it or not, there's also some learning about what to do when something is foobar the way our politics are today. A little foobar. Okay. No big reveal, the Avenger spends a lot of time taking a group of superheroes who spend a lot of their time at each other's throats and getting them to the point where they can work together towards a greater good, or as it says on the great seal of the United States, E Pluribus Unum, out of many, one. One team that can kick ass and get big things done, which is something which the United States seems to have lost the ability to do. Or think of it like this, Iron Man is the super rich 1%, Captain America is the 99%, Hulk is the Tea Party, hey, anger drives them, and he is really good at smashing things, and Thor is an independent with the godlike power to decide which side is ultimately going to win, while Hawkeye and Black Widow represent that large chunk of America which never actually votes. So how do you get? a dysfunctional group like that to actually work together? Well, in the film, it took death and the threat of losing everything which makes life worth living to get these many to form into one, which is probably what it's going to take to get this country off its ass and back on the road to greatness. Maybe it will just be another terrorist attack or a giant asteroid or global warming will cause the oceans to rise and flood the coastlands, and if you think any of that is terribly far-fetched, just look at what happened to Japan last year. Remember the tsunami and and then the nuclear power plants. I mean, I don't know. The threat of a second Great Depression didn't do it. 9-11 might have done it if the Loki of our age, Karl Rove, hadn't hijacked the crisis and used it to drive us all farther apart than we were before. In the meantime, Hulk is out there smashing while Iron Man and Captain America continue to duke it out while Thor hangs out in Asgard deciding what he's going to do next November when he gets to decide if the role of Nick Fury goes to Obama or Mitt Romney. Hmm, which one of them would look better in a leather jacket and an eye patch? I'll be back next Tuesday with another episode of Political Fubar. Until then, keep your eyes open for asteroids, and while you're looking up there, hit the subscribe button. See you next time.